Good morning to all. Uh, today we are going to uh, design a fill adder and simulate the fill adder using Ultra Contrast tool. First of all, we have to create a folder. Uh, take a E drive and create a project directory. I just give a name of demo. Inside, I create the folder of ladder. So after the creation of the folder, uh, we go to the Ultra tool. So take a 13.0 service pack 1 version. In our laboratory, it's available on desktop itself. So once uh, the icon is open, uh, there is a welcome window is there. We just close the welcome window. And uh, go to the new, go to the file and the new project wizard. New project wizard. The first step is introduction. We just go for next step. And then it is asked for project directory. Already we have created the directory in E colon. So choose your directory where you are created. So we have to do the fill adder, select the folder. And the name of the project is fill adder. You should not change the name of the project and the top level entity. The second and then third name must be same. It should be same on your model name also. After choosing the name, give it next. And this page is for third party tool. <coughs> so we have to go for next. And here uh, in our laboratory, we have a Cyclone 2 family package TQF RST TQF TQF. 144 pin speed grade 6 in that second device. Give next, and then the third or fourth step also we have to skip. And then finally, uh, we got the uh, summary of the project. Speech. After the finishing, we can see that uh, icon will be created, the project file is created. Then you go for file and take a new in this new window, take a very large HTML. We are using our laboratory in Verilog code, so Verilog HTL, give OK. I already have this code in Notepad. I just copy the code and then paste the code in the open window. Just I have to verify all the uh, names and then pins are corrected. Uh, ABC is input, sum and CS output, uh, four wires we are used with it, so 2XR and uh, 3 and gate, 1 R gate and finally end the module. Same as the same name, fill ladder in your same folder. Already we have created a directory, right? Same folder. So after that, save the folder, go for processing and start the compilation. So without error, it will be show the green color commands. Is there any error? It will show the uh, red color and what are the errors it will be show. So from full compilation successful, there is a 12 warning, 12 warning is a not at all issue, you okay. Once the code is compiled, go to the tools, netlist viewer, RTL viewer, C viewer, RTL view. So there is a 3 and the gate and then we created the XR gate uh, for some AXR, VXR, C, carry will be AB, BC, CE. So it is created uh, correctly. And go to the back or main window. <coughs> then we go to the file. We have to uh, uh, verify the waveform. So go to the file. Here, uh, choose the university. Take a university program. University program vector waveform file. BWF means vector waveform. Click it and give OK. And then here we have to force the inputs. Uh, before that, we have to list out the inputs. So below the name, below the name, right click, go to the insert node or bus, node finder, list, 
and select the all the pin and give a double arrow mark right shift and give ok and again ok now it is available on our uh, waveform window so just a click a a a is a msb bit so we give a first half of zero second half of one in a truth table so we will give a first 40 seconds each 10 seconds we will take a one set of inputs first 40 seconds we have to take a count value go to the uh, count value or you can see that you edit value and then count value here uh, the radius is binary so msb bit for 40 nanoseconds it will be dead. similarly b will be 20 nanoseconds and then c will be 10 nanoseconds so uh, c is a lsb so every 10 nanoseconds should be off and on as per the table. so now we can go to the file and then save the um, waveform same file itself then you can go for simulation take a options take a second option we don't have a model sim so take a quarters to simulator view ok and then simulation run functional simulation so after the successful verification and then it is giving a um, waveform you can verify the waveform using the 